I'm on the North Country Trail um, in an area called Sand Lakes Quiet Area. And, uh, we've had some really cold nights and the trees are really starting to change now. Um, but, you know, last night I was thinking, another thing a lot of people don't think about is a good night's sleep. And so you really should work on that before doing a through hike. You know, if you're wet, cold, uh, miserable at night, you don't have the right pillow, your neck hurts, your head hurts, your hands are cold, your feet are cold, whatever, you know, you have to kind of go out and try these things, sleep in some cold weather, you know, in any kind of condition, you know, why don't you sleep well if you're not sleeping well, because sleep's a very important part of backpacking, through hiking, and so um, if you're up watching your watch every half hour praying for daylight something's wrong and it can end a hike if you don't you know nip it in the bud find out what's wrong and correct it and get a good night's sleep with all the gear we have today getting a good night's sleep should be no problem so you should really work on that and speaking of looking at your watch every half hour um, I'm actually filming this using my watch. Let me show you. So I'm trying to figure out how to turn my storage poles into a monopole for my camera. I finally came up with an idea of using my dig dig tool to drive into the ground and then attaching my pole to the dig dig tool and I thought oh, you know what I could use some velcro where would I get some velcro and then I thought oh my watch so MacGyvering solutions for my storage hiking poles is an evolutionary process and since this trip I've come up with a better idea to store my dig dig tool on the outside of my pole use a regular velcro wrap to hook it when I want it to be a monopole so Stay tuned, and I'll show you the latest and the greatest. So back to practice what you preach. Um, I've always said you can't try your gear out in the backyard and expect it to work perfectly when you're on the trail. You gotta go on the trail and try things out. Like with these poles, you know, these storage poles are working out great for me, but you gotta be a little organized and know when you set your tent up everything you need out of those poles because if you need something out of that pole like in the morning you get up you need your dig dig tool to go dig a cat hole you got to take the tent down so you got to plan ahead for those kind of things and you know i kept this dig dig tool in here with my knife nested in it put it in a vise bent it so it'd slide into these poles which worked out great for a while i've you know carried it that way for 500 miles um, but now I'm finding I use that dig dig tool for a stake, cat hole digger, and now this monopole holder. And you saw where I used my watch Velcro to uh, hook it to the dig dig tool and it worked out good. But then that's kind of a hassle uh, also uh, taking your watch off every time. And I really could hold it a lot better with a, just a dedicated piece of Velcro. So what I did was I took a beer can wrapped it around my pole, then just put some duct tape here, just kind of Rube Goldberg this. So it's kind of made a holster for my dig dig tool. And uh, I just have a piece of Velcro on here. And that comes right out. Stick it in the ground, Velcro it. on put my camera on it and it uh, works very well that way other changes of the pole i've made are these caps are plastic and so i take i carry an extra one in case i drop it on a rock break it i could go to metal but uh, these have worked out so far and i think i'll just stick with them just carry an extra also instead of the sponge in here to keep bottles from rattling around in my poles and moving uh, I took the sponge out and now I carry microcloth 
in each one of them. So I use microcloths a lot and uh, it's a great place to have them. Serves two purposes, keeps things from rattling around and when I need an extra cloth, I've got plenty of it. I, I used to just carry one, now I've got like three. Uh, also, I've been buying foot long 28 millimeter tubes. So for liquids, uh, you know, like my olive oil, fuel, soap, you know, I, I like these containers with a screw top. Uh, they don't leak. I can label them what I have in them. Um, my um, liquid uh, fuel, I actually spray paint yellow so I don't, you know, make a mistake and think it's olive oil. And uh, anyway, these tubes, I just, uh, I buy them, cut them to where I want, like my knife is in there now. And I just buy these caps at Ace Hardware. Gives you a lot more room with this type of tube in there. So the engineering goes on, and I'll keep you posted on any other changes I make. But I'll also leave a link below to the original video, the how-to uh, video on making your own storage poles. Keep smiling.